Hey guys, it's Veronica and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit interesting. I'm going to be flipping through and showing you all of my language notebooks. It's mostly Korean. It's like 99% Korean. Um, but I have a large collection of notebooks and some binders and I've recently been feeling like I really don't like how my stuff is organized. I want to consolidate some things, get rid of some others. So before I go through that whole big organization process, I just wanted to show you um, what I have so far and in the future I'll also be making videos about how I'm reorganizing my notes. So today we're just doing a big fat language notebook collection flip through thing. So yeah, hopefully that sounds interesting and without further ado, let's get into my notebooks. So yeah, hopefully this is an okay angle. I wasn't sure exactly how to set up this video, but um, we're down here on my coffee table. I've got all of my notebooks here, a big stack. And then I also have two binders on the side. So I'm just gonna show you everything that I have. Okay, so starting off on the top, I have this dot notebook. And this is not exactly language notes, but I was using this to help me like organize my studying sessions. So just like to make a plan and like check items off the list and that kind of thing you track how much time I was studying for. I made a whole video about this like a long time ago and um, I still haven't used up this entire notebook yet. So I, I'll link that for you down below in case you're curious. Um, yeah, this is just like a, an organizer. Next is the Talk To Me In Korean 100 Day Study Journal and this basically serves the exact same function as this. It's just a place to like write down your notes and like make a plan, how much time you studied, and like rate the quality of your learning. Um, there is a page on the side for each day to take notes. So if you wanted to, you could take actual notes on what you're studying, or you could just summarize what you learned that day and kind of like journal about it. So it's really up to you. I've used it in both ways. And um, you know, I don't really feel like I, it's necessary for me. But I just feel like since I have it, I want to try and use it up so it doesn't go to waste. So I still have a lot of pages left in here. Yeah, I'm trying to make myself use it this year, but it's a bit of a struggle. Next, I have these two smaller, thinner notebooks. They are filled with wangoji, which is the Korean writing paper. It's to help you like space out your words and your punctuation properly. And usually if you're like taking a Korean class and having to write like short paragraphs and essays, you would write it on this type of squared paper. So I bought a couple of these notebooks thinking that I was going to like practice my writing or do like a daily journal entry or something, but I haven't used them at all. They're completely blank. I have another small notebook here. It's just lined like it's just plain lined paper. Um, it's actually really nice though, it's pretty smooth. And as you can see by this sticker, I was using this to take notes for the topic two. So strategies and also like language notes. So I have some like tips here for how to take the test and some specific vocabulary that will come up um, when you have to analyze the graphs on the test and then I also just made some lists of like useful words words related to accidents accidents and disasters because sometimes like in the questions there will be like news events um, conjunctive adverbs because these are really good context clues and that's really all I have because I did not start preparing this until like a day or two before I was gonna take the test so I didn't have time to write much in here but I think this would be a good notebook to continue using to fill up with like useful notes. And because it's so small, you can like take it with you and study on the go or like bring it with you on the day of the test and just kind of like skim and review things. So, so far, this is the only notebook that I feel like I wanna keep and add things to it. 
Next, I have a cute little Winnie the Pooh notebook. I actually love this so much and I wish I had bought more. I got this in Japan um, when I visited Tokyo in 2000, when did I go? 2018 or 2019? I don't remember. But uh, yeah, I bought this there and this is my only notebook that is not for Korean. This is for Japanese, although I haven't really done much in here. So inside, I started using the Human Japanese app um, and I took some notes about the alphabet and I also printed out a hiragana writing practice sheet and I just kind of stuffed it in here. So yeah, I haven't done much Japanese studies but I think I'll also keep this notebook because yeah, I would like to study Japanese and since it's not my main um, target language that I'm like really studying hardcore I don't feel like I need a huge notebook yet like I'm not at that stage yet obviously so this is sufficient next I have some really old notes from talk to me in Korean for levels one two and three so this is one of the things that I feel like I would like to redo and I know that's crazy like what's the point in rewriting these notes I don't know but I just look I have level one which I cut out of a different notebook and like stuffed it in here in the front and then I have all of level two notes yeah these are how I took my notes not very attractive also not very cute like they're okay they could be better and then and I use the same color for every single lesson in one level and then I also have a level three in here so I think I like just barely squeezed it in yeah I used the entire notebook up to the last page and squeezed it in here and this is like fine but I also started to take talk to me and create notes in a separate notebook and I just don't like how these pieces pages are loose these notes aren't very cute and also my notes are separated into another notebook like it just doesn't make sense to me so um, I'm going to be getting a new notebook it's like a giant Midori journal and I want to consolidate all of my notes into that one notebook and then also continue with the higher levels of talk to me in Korean and keep everything in that one big notebook. I think that's going to be a lot better system for me because let me just show you. This is like a tabs notebook and I have different sections in here for different topics and this is all I have for designated for talk to me in Korean. It's pretty small and I will definitely run out of this before I finish level 10. So I don't see why, why did I set up this notebook like this? I don't know. Yeah, I'm frustrated with myself if you can't tell. So that's this notebook. I'm gonna come back to this one because it's kind of big. This next notebook is some notes that I kept from KIIP level two. And this notebook isn't full. But I did take a lot of nice notes in here and I just like how I like organized the notes. I think they're nice to look at and they make sense to me. And uh, yeah, do I ever refer to this ever? No, but I've just held on to it for sentimental reasons, I guess. Back when I was like a nice studious student. <laughs> So yeah, I'm thinking I might get rid of this because I'm really only keeping it because I like how I outlined my notes, not because like the information is useful. Next I have two of the same notebook. Um, I saw these on, I don't remember where I saw this, maybe like on an Instagram ad or like in Coupang or something. And I just thought that the format was really cool. Like it's a Cornell notes, but it's horizontal. There's all this space to write. And um, I was originally thinking like whatever lesson I'm studying, this side would obviously be for writing down vocabulary. This side would be taking grammar notes and then you can write the title and stuff across the top. There's also a separate little note section down here. So I just, I liked the layout of the paper, but 
I found as I was using it that I don't like the texture of the paper. I don't like the size of the grid. I know it's hard to see because it's kind of bright. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a grid and it's very, very small. And that just doesn't work for me. I need like at least five millimeter size boxes to write in. And so that was just causing me like stress almost to deal with the tiny boxes. And as a left-handed person, trying to write on the edge of this paper was really uncomfortable. So even though I like the idea of this notebook, I haven't been using it much. So I'm just, I, I feel like, I like wasteful. Like I obviously didn't use this notebook at all. And this notebook, which is the same, I used for, um, some, some notes, I did do some notes, but I just like, I'm not interested in writing in these notebooks. So I feel like I might get rid of them. And maybe I can give this blank one to somebody, but um, yeah, these ones are not it for me. This little notebook, I think I will keep though, because it's kind of like a little treasure for me. This is my vocabulary notebook from level four of KIIP. And I took the time to write out all of the vocabulary for all of the lessons. Um, our teacher gave us vocabulary lists at the start of the class and we would go over the vocabulary every class and you had to have studied and looked up the words in advance so that's what I did in this notebook so I would look up the words practice writing them and then as we would like go over the vocabulary in in class I would also write down some small notes and I'm just like proud of myself I guess for having done all of this work and yeah I don't want to get rid of this notebook I I like that I have this so yeah that's my vocabulary notebook from level four of KIAP so back to this big bad boy um it's pretty thick it's pretty large and in charge and I like the color obviously I like cacao friends and inside, as you can see, it's tabbed. So when I bought this notebook, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so organized because of these tabs. And so I designated topics for all of the tabs. The first tab I put, talk to me in Korean. I like wrote out all of the lessons here. You know, this isn't even all the lessons because now they have a level 10. And I started taking notes on level four. Then on the second tab, I put, um, the Cyber University of Korea's Quick Korean course. So again, this one I was like taking notes on the whole course. I don't love these notes either. These notes are ugly. Then I had a tab for Harry Potter. So I, I have been wanting to read Harry Potter in Korean for a really long time. I have the book on my shelf. Haven't done anything besides write down the chapters. Then I have a place for news articles. So, um, I use this a little bit. I would look up an article that was like on an interesting topic for me and then I would write it down and I would also like make notes about words that I don't know. I didn't do a whole lot of work in this section, but that's what it was supposed to be for. And then this back section was supposed to be miscellaneous. So um, just like random lessons that I come across online or special special interest vocabulary. So for example, like I'm really interested in stationery. So maybe I could look up some words related to stationery and just make a, a page about that back here. But I just really don't like how this notebook is just like all things at once. And because of that reason, it kind of stresses me out and I don't find myself opening this notebook very much even though it's obviously it's very cute there's still a lot of blank paper in here so I'm not sure what to do with this I I really don't want to waste this notebook I'm thinking I might just tear out some of the older pages and 
try and relabel these, but I feel like that's going to make it look really ugly. So, um, yeah, I'm still debating about whether I'm going to try and rework this notebook somehow or if I'm just going to call it a loss and get rid of it. Next, I have these two binders. I'm really like over these binders. I thought I had a bright idea. You can buy filler paper and this is Cornell filler paper. They have other types of filler paper like just regular lined or graph or dot. It also came with tabs. Again with the tabs. And I was using this to take notes on my daily routine in Korean by Talk To Me In Korean. And I was using the loose leaf paper to write out the vocabulary and do practice sentences, which is also like, I mean, this is like not a bad idea, but I actually really hate this paper. I hate these tabs. I don't like these colors. I also don't really like this binder either because there's no like little thumb tabs to open these rings and it's dangerous, you know, to get your fingers stuck in there. So I thought that having a binder system would be better than having a bound notebook like this because I could rearrange the pages, I could add pages as I needed them. But again, I'm just like not excited to use this and I just feel very like scattered, scatterbrained because of this. This binder, I got a Daiso, I think. And this is just really holding all the filler paper for it this other binder. I ordered way too much filler paper. This is like, this this much paper won't even fit in that other binder. I don't know why I got too much. And then I also have some printouts of the Cyber University of Korea's um, Quick Korean course. I think this is level one. Oh, back here I actually have my vocabulary list from KIP level four, that's so funny. And we have like a grammar list as well. Okay, yeah, that's cool. And then in the very back here, I have like old homework from that course. Nice little trip down memory lane, some of my old essays. So yeah, these are all of my binders and notebooks. As you can see, I'm like really all over the place. It's not a very organized system. So I'm going to be revamping this in the very, very near future and then once that is underway, I'll make another video about how I'm organizing my notes. I'm really excited because this is just too much. I need to move past this and kind of start fresh. How do you organize your notes? Give me some tips because I'm obviously struggling, but you know, I did watch a video by All Things Anne about her Korean notes and they are so gorgeous and well organized. I feel like I'm gonna try and kind of follow her style of using like separate notebooks that are all like the same size and color so that they look nice and they fit on the shelf nicely and the notes are organized. Yeah, I really like her approach to her note taking, so we'll see what happens with my notes in the future. Okay, so that's it for this uh, chaotic video. I kind of feel guilty asking you to like and subscribe because what a mess. But yeah, please like and subscribe. That would really help me out. And I hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye.